Good morning. Our goals for this week in ELA is explain the theme of a passage and identify prepositions and also I can write a narrative paragraph. So those are the goals we are working on for this week and our new story for the week is Hercules Quest. ELA is going to be looking a little bit differently this week so make sure you are following the slideshow. Our main question is what makes a character memorable? What you are going to start with is vocabulary. In vocabulary, you're gonna click on this link and it will give you the slideshow for our vocabulary words. We are going to go through them. We have acquire, unfortunate, coarse, boasted, beamed, glared, seize, declared, devised, and resourceful. So down the next slides also have what the vocabulary word is and the definition of those, sorry, refocusing, and then a couple questions that you will just stop and pause and think about as you go through the words. After you have gone through the words, you then will have this worksheet. It's a cut and paste. You will cut it all out and you will create a flip book. Under each flap, you will then write the definition of your vocabulary word. And again, that is also linked right here. The next thing that we are going to do is be learning about prepositions. Here is a YouTube video about prepositions. Clicking on what prepositions are, it is a slideshow for you. Again, doing things a little bit differently, so just hang on tight for Monday. It tells us what a preposition is. A preposition is a word that links nouns and pronouns or other words in the sentence. So whisper that to yourself so you can remember that. Um, prepositions usually describe the location of, a, of something, the time when something happens, or the way something is done. And these are a list of prepositions that tell a location of where something is. Like it might be, like a cup might be up on the counter or I might be done with my work. So just go over a list of these, and then here is some um, sentence examples. The pink word is the preposition, so read those out loud to yourself and tell yourself, ask yourself what is the preposition in each sentence. And then here is what telling time is. So after I did something, as I am walking, I seen, so these preposition words tell the time of something. And then here's also example sentences. Read those out loud to yourself. And the pink words again are the prepositions of time. Here is also another list of words of what you are going to be going over and some more sentences. So this is the slideshow of what prepositions are. So you will then have a prepositions glue cut and paste paper that is going to go in your um, ELA journal. So make sure you follow that. This is what the preposition cut and fold looks like. This will be cut out. You will use these as flap and you will write the list of words that we had got from the PowerPoint. Sorry, right here. Write the list of words and I would also like you to write an example sentence in each. Once you are done, you are going to need somebody to give you a verbal spelling pretest. Our spelling words, you will have a list. We do have a new website that I am currently still trying to get it figured out. None of my stuff would transfer over, so we are working on that. And then at the end, you'll notice it says follow your center page. You will complete one center a day. So yours looks I think in a colored paper. So for Monday, we are working on with me in class. They're working on a teacher group. So meet with your teacher and read through the, pas the theme passage. The theme passage is then called Captain Dixon. So you will read this. Our goal is to read this twice so we are understanding clarification of what the story is telling us. Back in front, and then we are talking about theme. Remember, theme is what is the overall um, moral of the story. Okay, it's wanting to tell us what is the theme of Captain Dixon. You are going to make sure you are using support from the text to help you answer this. So you are picking stuff from this text to help you answer these questions. And then you have another page that has a set of questions. Good luck.